Sweet home Alabama. That's what I think of when I see this title. Moo. Yeah, Shy's a Cow. <laughs> I'm singing Sweet Home Alabama. If I'm singing Sweet Home Alabama, then Shy's a Cow. We're always together. Is that song always around cows? <laughs> They're always together. <laughs> I feel like if you're in Alabama. If you go to a cow farm and you don't hear Sweet Home Alabama, <laughs> they're doing something wrong there. Gotta paint the picture right. Uh, is this a sweet song? Sweet Home? Seems like it'll be. Let's find out. Got the lyrics here, so. Let's see what this is about, man. Let's dive. like another song dedicated to inner circle yeah i'm going i'm running to you who i miss i'm late but i'll make up for that much more like they feel like they haven't been around as much as they should have you know like it's been a while since winter's come back but you know i feel like them saying went around in circles it's almost it's kind of like maybe an inner circle reference a little bit you know <laughs> but like you know they're saying they went around in circles really love minnow's verse absolutely killer yes i'm wondering if we're gonna get a really long hoonie verse here but that was a really long minnow verse it was um but i loved it mm -hmm. this flow is crazy man I, every time you hear minnow in any one of these songs you're just like, damn, like this song's you're, good. Like, you know it's gonna you're, hit. you're convinced it's a good song at that point. You're like, oh man, Minno just Minno just drove this song home. That's yeah. why, that's how I feel every time I hear him. But this is also a double entendre for a person that you can lean on. A person that, you know, you can you can trust and and relax around. And Minno in his verse, he feels really lonely. He's saying he wish he wishes somebody would ask him why he tossed and turned in his sleep last night. And he wants someone to tell him that just because you didn't do anything doesn't make the day meaningless. It means you made it. You did well. Come over here. Let me hug you. It feels like if he's not being productive and if he's not producing something that he's useless. He said the front door feels heavier than usual today. It's hard for him to move forward. So that could apply to like a family member, I feel like, or that could apply to a relationship, a romantic relationship and him feeling upset that somebody that he loves isn't worried about him. 
or isn't appreciating him as much as he would like. Or maybe he got a little sidetracked as in he moved on to other women or another woman and this woman, he's wishing that this woman would still be there for him. Right. But he's like, I, I know I, you know, I messed and up. I, and I wish I could go back to you. Yeah, that's what the song I could also be about. Wish you would tell me, like, you're concerned about me, but right. I get that I've but been you, gone. But yeah, right. Sidetracked. Right. But I'm coming back. Mm -hmm. yeah. But also including Inner Circle. Really unique. You could interpret it like a lot that. of ways. Yeah. So it is about family too. It, it can apply to many different things, like you just said. Like it could be about relationship, it could be about family, it could be about anybody that you feel like is um, your home. Like That's I've been cool. sidetracked on my career and stuff. Right, right. I've, I've been sidetracked. Yeah, I need to go home. And in Huni's verse, he's questioning his fame and how important his career is. Like he's saying, what follows the cheers of a world tour in a, is a sweet room. Except for the bed, everything else is just props. Reflections of me in the square TV are just pretenses. The narcissism disappears with the erased makeup. So once you take, take off that makeup, you see your real face. And he's like, who am I really, you know? What's really important to me? Well, in the song, they're reminiscing and they're thinking about their family and thinking about, you know, I need to see my family. But yo, is this another YG reference though? You know, come back home. <laughs> yo, there's YG <laughs> references throughout this whole album. Come back home. Ooh, drums. guitar i bet this is a comforting song for inner circle very comforting song for inner circle i could definitely see it, see inner circle chanting that yeah that entire hook yep that entire hook is going to be chanted by them yep i really really enjoyed this beginning with the piano it's very sweet and janu's vocals whew. yeah Perfect Now I think I think this is another one that is to grow on you like a, a little bit with the melody and the hook. I just feel like in a concert setting, this song would be really nice. Just hearing everybody chant this. Mm -hmm. I like songs like this by Winter Moore where you have these long rap verses and you, you give Minnow and, and Hooney a good amount of space to work with. So this next track is called Family. Let's dive. Okay, I haven't heard the song yet by Big Bang, but he just said bingo bingo, did he not? 
They just said bingo, bingo. Then they, they yeah. said every day and really, really. Yeah. Yeah, I think there's some YG family love in this track. Hold on. Is this family as in YG family? Hold on, guys. Hold up. Hold up. Don't hype me up. Yo, God, Hooney, Hooney, man, Hooney, bro. Yo, oh my God, I need to see Hooney solo or or just some more Hooney. God, I'm in love with Hooney. <laughs> That that verse was so fired. Like the flow was sick. And the rhyme scheme, did you see how many rhymes he had at the end there? Wild, bro. So is this song about each other? Because I think Yoon is saying that he caught another member. We were young, let's be healthy. We've been doing well so far. We're still baby chicks and we've still got a long way to go. I think he's talking about winter. And then also Hooney's saying, hey brother, how you been? Together we eat, sleep, fight, and make up. Yeah, definitely got to be about winter, especially with them ending it. Let's protect it, winter forever. Yeah, dude. But already, though, I think uh, we got a Big Bang reference. I wonder if we're going to get any more YG references. Yeah. Janu. Hey. Ooh. Ooh. Really, really, huh? Ooh. The references to their songs really, really every day. Yep. Dang. This is like a love song to each other. Yeah. But also, you know, with this hook, double entendre towards inner circle mm -hmm. in a concert setting. Think about it. You know, that we're family. The medley of our memories won't ever fade. Ever. Really, really. Come on. This whole album. I'm loving this, these double entendres, dude. It's so sick. Yeah. Meno with the fast flow as usual. Look, we're not surprised, bro. And that's so sweet. On the blueprint of me, their names are written clearly. So, he's saying he wouldn't be himself without his family, without Winner. That's so sweet, dude. Ah.
That's so sweet. That's so sweet for each other. Aw. Oh. Wow, this, this is a, a song you play at your cookout, bro. Yeah. This is a song you play at your, your barbecue. <laughs> and, and you put your hands around your, your family and you just sing like this. <laughs> yeah, this is, a, this is a good song, man. Good vibes. And, you know, very cool for winter because of the references here. You know, really, really every day. I don't know. I just think it's so sweet that they made a song about each other. But, you know, at the same time. Still involving Inner Circle in the song because in a concert setting, they're calling Inner Circle their family as well. Mm -hmm. But I really like that hook. Love that melody in the hook. Cause we're family. Da, 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 da. Yo, <laughs> and the way that it started, very unorthodox. singing their hits. Yo. Yeah, yeah, I like this one, man. They're flexing their songs in the beginning, just singing their songs. <laughs> just singing the song titles. But also the funny thing is, they're not just referencing the songs when they say really, really in every day. They're actually saying our memories won't ever fade really, really and we'll always be family without a word friendly every day. You know, so they're actually using those words at the same time. They're just references. And also guys, I don't know if it'll happen, hopefully it will, but if there's ever a YG Family concert one day, this song right here is perfect. Please. And here we are, the last song on the album, Little Finger. Which, also, kind of funny, if they're talking about your pinky, it's the last finger on your hand, right? Little finger. Last song on the album. Maybe I'm reaching, I don't know. <laughs> but, I've heard a lot about this song already. Um, I've heard that there's some uh, good wordplay in this track. Hopefully this song isn't about Peter Baelish. But, I guess we gotta find out. Let's dive. Okay, so the song's about a picky swear. Uh, it seems like this little finger is all talk and no bite. The song's about a protagonist that feels guilty for not fulfilling promises. What is Minnow talking about, though? It was just supposed to be the guys, but my friend, you know the one, he's the one who invited the girls. I swear I didn't even realize until it happened. Damn. What is he talking about, bro? Uh... <laughs> is he saying that he cheated on his girl because one of his friends invited a bunch of girls over? That's what it seems like he's saying. Like, you know, but, you know, my friend, he invited all these girls. It's his fault. <laughs> I don't know. No, you're right. They're all just excuses. Faith, love, devotion. You're my captain. On the seas of your heart, I'm a real ship. <laughs> 
Is this captain right here a reference to Yoon's captain song? Quite possibly. I think the metaphor is like a real ship, like relationship, like on the seas of your heart. I'm a real ship, like, you know, I'm the real relationship that you need. Maybe I'm the real, I don't know. Maybe I'm breaching. So I just, ah, man. I just love Hooney, bro. Every yeah. time I hear Hooney's verse, just love it. One sentence destroyed the entire puzzle. And winter froze over, ended up knocking down the hurdle. He's saying he said something wrong. Like, I said something that destroyed the entire puzzle. Like, he said something really bad to her. So, so this word that means pinky finger can also be used as an insult meaning jerk or asshole. Adding characters like uh, get or ship in front of it makes the insult harsher to mean bastard or son of a bitch. Though technically, when you just read the lyrics, these insults aren't being used. They connect the sounds of get and ship and segi. If I'm, if I'm butchering this, well, I probably am. I'm butchering this. So that it can also sound like the harsher insults, which based on the lyrics, appropriate, I think. So that's really cool. So I'm guessing the wordplay is the protagonist is swearing to a girl that they love, that they're not gonna hurt her again. At the same time, when they say pinky swear, but it seems like this little finger's all talk and no bite. They're saying it seems like this asshole or this jerk is all talk and no bite. I swear. That's really dope. Really dope wordplay. Yoon loves wordplay. That's what I've noticed. Yoon likes making things be about multiple things. Or like, uh, he loves double entendres. <laughs> yeah. Now too, I swear, I swear, and they're swearing. Genius lyricism here, so dope. I love it. And that hook was good. No, God, oh man, mm -hmm. these last two tracks are really good. So, taking a look at this album in full, I know you're wondering. You just you just want to ask me, Charles, which ones were your favorites? Okay, well. Hold your horses, slow it down. I'll let you know right now. So I think this album has a lot of pop elements, a lot of mainstream pop elements uh, that I think isn't really for me, a lot of the things here. But nonetheless, I do find a lot of different things that I enjoy in this album. If I had to pick a favorite, 
it's tough. I really enjoyed the hook and holiday and the post chorus in 10 minutes um, and the wordplay and little finger and the long verses and the genuity and sweet home. Sweet home had really genuine stuff in it. So that's why I really like sweet home. I love you's hook still hasn't completely grown on me. I'm not the biggest fan of the ooh, ooh, just, just not 100% there with that. You know, just being completely honest with y'all. I don't think this album's for me, but that's just my taste. It's just that the, the hooks sometimes get a little too poppy for me. But yo, be sure to let us know what's next for us to react to by winner down below in the comments. We love you guys so much. Thank you guys so much for watching and critiquing with us. You guys stay healthy, stay safe, and stay classy. Charles, AKA Tyler, AKA Critic. Out. Shy. AKA Shy. Shy Drizzy. What's up? Shy Drizzy?